Ladies and gentlemen, we acknowledge that the land upon which we gather here is unceded Mi'kmaq territory, and we pay our respects to the indigenous Mi'kmaq people of this territory, past, present, and future. Ladies and gentlemen, I invite you to please rise for the graduates. Charlottetown Rural to celebrate the accomplishments of the class of 2021. My name is Stephen Wynn and in keeping with the CPHO guidelines we would like to ask all participants to wear their masks for the duration of the ceremony. I would like to introduce our principal Mr. Dale McIsaac and invite him to the podium to address our graduates. Graduates, family members, this class of 2021 has become a very special group. The events of the past 18 months have partially defined them. But back in September, the staff here at Charlottetown Rural knew that we had a great grad class in our midst. They had watched and learned from the two previous grad classes. They ensured the great events they took part in or were spectators to in grade 10 and 11 were repeated under their leadership. They added activities that they knew their classmates and school community would enjoy. They followed the examples set before them and represented Charlottetown World on the stage, sport fields, gyms, and in the community with poise and grace. They, they proudly wore the Raider colors and made us very proud of them. In the classrooms, there were so many terrific things going on. As their principal, I was in a privileged position to be able to visit all the classrooms every day. The talent on display was amazing. So we don't see this pandemic as defining this class. We see it as part of their story. It sets them apart from all the classes that had preceded them, but it does not lessen their accomplishments. It's one in a series of memories that the graduates share with each other. You are our second graduating class of this decade and you have continued the high standard of behavior, achievement, and accomplishment of the previous classes. We are so proud of you. Your families are proud of you, and you should be quite proud of yourselves. I want to recognize two staff members who are retiring at the end of this school year. Mrs. Donna Gill has been an integral part Charlottetown Rural for the past 35 years. As a biology teacher, she has instilled a love of science and a passion for learning in approximately 6,500 students. She has been a leader in our science department, a mentor to new teachers, and a friend 
to all she meets. She has worked tirelessly to help students reach her high expectations. She's encouraged students to challenge themselves by further participating in science fairs, Shad Valley, and Biogenius Challenge. Mrs. Gill has been an invaluable contributing member of the CRHS community and her presence will be missed. Mrs. Nancy Conley has had a varied career teaching in schools in Nova Scotia and Prince Edward Island. For the past 10 years, it's been our pleasure to have Mrs. Conley on staff here at Charlottetown World in our French department. She has taught all three grades, our provincial curriculum, and has worked in our international baccalaureate program as well. Mrs. Connolly has held high standards for her students and herself. Together, they worked hard to learn the French language and to learn to use that language. We wish both ladies all the best in their retirement. Graduates, let me ask a favor of you before the ceremonies continue. Please make every effort to attend your class functions in the future. Whether they're planned for two years or five years or ten years into the future, please make an effort to attend. Whether you move to Southeast Asia, whether you're hiding in the Caribbean, or whether you're still living with your parent, on the Red Point Road, <laughs> your class celebrations need you in order to be successful. So congratulations on your graduation today. May your future be bright and full of success. Thank you. Before we begin with the distribution of the diplomas, we need to highlight the protocols that will govern our proceedings here today. Graduates will be queued to rise and form a line against either wall as directed by the rushers. When their name is read, students will come to the stage using the nearest access point here and here. Students will then be asked to stop at the stands where Mr. McIsaac will place their diploma. Please maintain social distance, but please feel free to pause beside Mr. McIsaac for a photo opportunity. We would like to ask parents and guardians to, uh, to take pictures from their seats. You may stand if you need to, but please remain beside your chair. Students will exit the stage the same way that they entered, and we will now begin the presentations of the diplomas. Graduates in Zone 1 and 2, I ask you to rise. I invite you, if you so wish, to take your masks off and place them on your chair, and then please uh, follow the directions of your usher and she will line you up. Dominic Chandler. <laughs> Dominic is awarded the Ben K. Resiliency Award. <laughs> Kayla Chandler. <laughs> Kayla is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Thomas Dale. <laughs> Thomas is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Josh Fury. <laughs> Josh 
Josh is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Woo. Rebecca Gallant. Woo. Rebecca is awarded the Charlottetown Rural Home and School Prize. <laughs> Cody Gallant. Cody is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Hope Mosier. Hope is awarded a Charlottetown Rural Home and School Prize. Tegan Hughes. <laughs> Tegan is awarded the UPEI Celebrating Student Achievement $500 Award. <laughs> Jordan Jenkins. Jordan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Ivan Kempinski. <laughs> Ivan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Jordan McDonald. Jordan is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Liam M. McDonald. <laughs> Liam is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Mitchell McDonald. Mitchell is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Connor McLeod. Connor is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. I would now ask the graduates from Zone 3 and 4 to please rise. I invite you to take off your masks and place them on your chair and follow your usher to, uh, so that he can line you up. Thomas Bolak. <laughs> Thomas is awarded the Morgan McGinnis Memorial Scholarship. <laughs> Tristan Bishop. Tristan is awarded the Joyce Family Foundation $1,000 Bursary and the Holland College $1,000 Define What Is Next Island Award. <laughs> Regan Burke. <laughs> Regan is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award.
Noah Percy. <laughs> Noah is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Dakota Carver. Dakota is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Aiden Clay. Aiden is awarded a CRHS Student Recognition Award. Matthew Duffy. <laughs> Matthew was awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Parker Gallant. Parker is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Aiden Landergan. Aiden is presented a prize for achievement in Environmental Management 801. Alex Leibolt. <laughs> Alex is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Sydney Morse. <laughs> Sydney is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. <laughs> Isaac Morrison. Isaac is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. Justin Peng. Justin is presented a prize for achievement in Math 621B. Matthew Perry. Matthew is awarded the CRHS Student Recognition Award. I would now call on Brandon McKinnon to deliver the valedictory message to the graduates. Welcome administrators, teacher, family, friends, but most importantly, my fellow graduates. We made it. I am so excited to say that we are the graduating class of Charlottetown Rural High School 2021. We made it through lockdowns, a new way of learning, and the realization that we don't want to admit that this year, every single one of us actually wanted to be at school. Even though this year was filled with so much unpredictability, this unpredictability is something that I would never, ever want to change. It made our last year as a Raider a more memorable one, and one that history will remember as well. I don't want to spend this whole speech talking about the pandemic, though. I'm sure we have all seen enough news coverage 
and had to write enough self-reflections to last us under the school year. So let's just end with this statement. COVID-19 sucks. However, our time at Charlottetown Rural certainly did not. This year was filled with wins, losses, triumphs, and failures. These words may sound like polar opposites, but in my eyes, they all lead to one final destination, our own personal success. Today, when I look out and see our graduating class, I see a destination of success for each and every single one of us. When I started to write this speech, I googled how to start a valedictorian speech, because truly, I had no clue where to start. The one thing that honorsociety.org said, and was I quote, whatever you do, do not talk about Merriam-Webster's Dictionary. But anyways, Merriam-Webster's Dictionary defines success as the accomplishment of an aim or purpose. What I think we sometimes fail to remember is the accomplishment, aim, or purpose this definition talks about is never set by our society, friends, or family, but us, and absolutely no one else. We choose what we want our success to be, and when we let others choose this success for us, we lose track of what we truly want in our lives. When I look at all of us, I see future medical professionals, leaders, adventurers, entrepreneurs, engineers, climate change activists, advocates for injustice, global citizens, and people who truly care about how our actions affect us, our planet, and our society. This year has taught us all a very valuable lesson that stability is never guaranteed. School has given us comfort and steadiness, but life is full of bumps and bruises and hard decisions, but now it's time for us to make these hard decisions for ourselves. But before we head out and take on the world ourselves, we need to say thank you, of course. Thank you to the administrators, Mr. McIsaac, who hopefully enters a poker league in his spare time, because I have never seen a poker face as good as his in the past three years. But he has always been very kind, warm welcomed, and open-hearted to us. Ms. Bryden, the brains behind SAS, who made sure we even qualified to walk across the stage today to receive our diplomas. Mr. Wynn, our in-house drill sergeant, who always wants the best for us. And of course, Ms. Ryu, who may want to invest in a Fitbit and a GPS so she can track her steps and we can track her whereabouts. <laughs> thank you to the teachers who spend their lives dedicated to bettering others. And don't forget to thank that one special teacher who made a lasting and permanent impact on their lives. Make sure to take the opportunity to thank that teacher before you leave today. Thank you to the support staff, of course, who always kept our clean, our school clean, organized, and of course, especially this year, sanitized. And thank you to the parents and guardians who were there from the very beginning. They walked us into kindergarten, and now, holding our hands, and now they walk us out of high school into the world, maybe not holding our hands this time. And finally, my fellow graduates, thank you for taking this journey with me. We somehow have made it here without even finishing grade 11, which I believe is an accomplishment in itself. <laughs> but we have a lifetime supply of smiles, laughter, and memories, and it truly is an honor to be all graduating with you here today. I would like to end today off with a kahoot. Sorry, I meant quote. There are two primary choices in life, to accept the conditions as they exist, or to accept the responsibility for changing those conditions. Dr. Dennis Whaley and let us be the one who make that change. I have been completely honored to be your valedictorian this year. Congratulations to the Charlottetown Rural High School graduating class of 2021. Leave your handprints in the world because your legacy is something that will outlive you and will never truly be forgotten. Thank you. Graduates, please rise. The tassel graduates on a graduation mortar. It represents the student goals while at school. At this time, you may move your tassel from the right side to the left, symbolizing the achievement of your goals. Ladies and gentlemen, I present you the graduating class of Charlotte Town
Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes our ceremony for today. We would ask that you please exit the gym using the same door in which you came through, uh, which you entered, and we invite you to take photos when you exit the building onto the lawn. We would ask the graduates that when you do exit the building to make your way around the front of the building, and when you're done taking your pictures on the front lawn, please take your, uh, your gowns and somebody will be there waiting for you at the main door to take your gowns. The caps, of course, are yours. Once again, congratulations, uh, graduates, and enjoy the rest of your day.